guys, welcome back. Happy Thursday. So we are running some errands, Taras and I. We just pulled up to an auction. He has to drop off some titles or pick up some titles. Just doing the regular work. But we do have the afternoon off all off. So after this we're gonna drive out to King of Prussia since we are like 20 minutes away, 15 minutes away. Grab some lunch. Probably gonna go to Bar Taco. I've been wanting to go there since the last time we were in Nashville and we didn't get to get in because it was completely booked out the three days that we were there. So we'll try the Bar Taco here, I think. I think we might change our minds. Um, but yeah, I also have to get my screen fixed on my iPhone. I completely shattered it, I think end of March, right in the middle of COVID when it was like, lockdown can't go anywhere and so it's basically been crap crapped <laughs> it has been crap but it's been cracked since then and um i basically try to like put a band-aid on it by getting a glass screen protector to kind of keep like the glass from breaking off and chipping off and cutting my fingers which has happened um so that really did helped me for the last few months but now that part is all cracked so it's time and I have not found the time to actually drive out to the mall drop off my phone because sometimes it takes three hours for them to actually do it if they're busy so hopefully today we can drop it off grab some lunch and then pick it back up pick up the kids and then yeah Usually I'm the one inside the auction picking up the title, so it's nice to just sit in the car. Um, so, thought I'd update you guys. I had such a weird week because I woke up with what seemed to have been poison ivy. I thought it was poison ivy. It had like all of the initial startup symptoms, I guess, or the way that the little bumps looked. It's just so horrible. I've never had anything like this in my life and it's literally consumed me all week. I can't sleep at night. I wake up like itching, scratching, and so uncomfortable. You got so bad to the point where yesterday I had to drive out to patient first. It felt like an emergency, okay? I couldn't like function. My skin was on fire and it also looked like hives because there's like some kind of allergic reaction that I had to whatever. I, don't, I can't even explain it. I don't even know how it happened or what it was. Still not convinced it's what she said it is, but anyway, so she came in, the doctor, she looked at me and she's like, that looks like eczema. I'm like, it really doesn't look like eczema, but it's like, for me, it looks like eczema mixed with poison ivy and psoriasis. I've self-diagnosed myself, <laughs> but she swears that it's like a form of eczema, adult eczema. I've never had anything like that. It's not in my family, so. It's hard to believe that that's what it is, but whatever, it kept spreading. That's the problem. It kept spreading and spreading and spreading and I was hiding out and it just kept getting worse every single day. So she gave me a steroid and life is dandy. Excuse the lighting, you guys. You're gonna laugh. I mentioned that we probably won't go to Bar Taco. We're not at Bar Taco. We are at Farm and Fisherman by our house. Mm -hmm. It was... Oh uh, yeah, that lighting sucks. <laughs> yeah, the lighting is atrocious, guys. Um, we had car issues and we had to Uber back home from the auction, grab a different car that we had in the driveway and just went somewhere local. We like this place for lunch. So that sucks. It was definitely a completely big change of plans. So now we're going to have to get... It is what it is. It is what it is. But we have to get our car towed out to a uh, mechanic. So I'm basically carless now for a couple of days, but not the biggest deal. So yeah, it's been eventful. What's on your mind, monkey butt? I was actually going to say, surprising the stocks are not going down. I after elections? Too. Yeah, after all the unrest and uncertainty. I just checked their still holding their own and climbing so that's good that's good news so we tried this last time we were here and it's so good so bomb it's like a homemade onion dip thing with chips and it's like chunky onions in there but it's not like it's not like stinky it's so good it's like a french, a french onion, onion dip, dip that yeah. you get like in a, in a jar but yeah. much better <laughs> so good so good I got the kale Caesar with some grilled chicken, the tater tots that are so bomb here, you guys. It's so, so good. And then he got fish tacos, which look amazing. This is how you eat a tater tot. You put it on the fork, 
you dip one side in. What if you don't have a fork? Use your hand. <laughs> That's the only way. Yummy. And the salad's so good because they finally chop everything. So if you have like a choking problem like me, I'm just getting cut off. Thank you. She's like, why is she recording herself? Oh shoot. Let it go guys. So this is my way of incorporating salad. Put it inside the taco. Dude, it's so bomb with it together. What a weirdo. So good. Good morning, you guys. I know you haven't seen me look this gorgeous before. Um, it's the next morning. I'm getting the kids ready and ready and set for school. It's 7.28. We have to leave in about 20 minutes. They already had their breakfast. Now they're eating candy. I am such a good mom. Mm. How's your candy? They have half day today, which is great. This is my steroid medication reminder. <laughs> it's a lovely Friday, let me tell you. But anyways, I was going to make myself a latte. And I wanted to show you guys how I make a my version of a latte at home. I put much less milk in there. Here is my little morning latte routine. You guys, these are my favorite pods. Alina introduced them to me. Thank you, Alina. They are so good. It's the Napoli from um, Nespresso. And I think this is their boldest pod that they sell. It came out in the last few months. It's the red, like, funky design. So delicious. So bold, but so smooth. Um, this is actually a good pod too. I got it at Wegmans. I think it's by Pete's Coffee and it's like a 10 intensity. This is a good one to have in your stash if you are running low. It's not my favorite, but I like this one better than like all the other ones I've ever tried. Like the Starbucks ones and the whatever, any other brand. But anyway, these are my favorite. It's the only ones I repurchase time and time again. These are my favorite cups, you guys, the insulated coffee mugs from Amazon. I've talked about them at least 20 times on my channel. I think it's 35 bucks for four of them. Super insulated. They keep my coffee hot for 30 to 40 minutes, like piping hot. Does not get cold. So good. It retains the heat. And they're just so pretty. This is Fia in the mornings when she gets taken out. She's so hyped. She missed everybody. <laughs> She loves her brothers so much. Anyways, right, pop in, press the button. This is the, um, uh, the Breville, Breville, Travel. This brand, what am I doing, you guys? <laughs> I totally failed, hold on. All right, you guys, I accidentally pressed the, the milk option instead of pouring the espresso. But anyway, it's the Creatista by Nespresso. It's such a good machine. I've had it for, I think, three years now. It is amazing. Totally worth every penny. I got my sister on it. She loves it. Uh, my sister-in-law comes over and she uses it all the time when she's here. She loves it too. It's just a great machine that does whatever you want. There's plenty of settings. I'm not going to get into it now, but you guys, 10 out of 10, recommend. This is my next step. It's very important. I add water in here. I don't know if you can tell this um, machine came with this metallic milk frother thingy and there's two lines that indicate how high the milk should go per shot i actually fill up water like drinking water up to the first line just to save calories but to have the volume of liquid and then i pour not too much milk enough where it looks like it's milk maybe that's gross to somebody but it makes it super low fat or non-fat and then i will froth froth wow froth that in my machine and honestly it's so bold and strong and perfectly milky without having to drink 150 calories i think this is like 70 or 80. nice little hack i'm not gonna attempt any latte art because <laughs> i'm just way smarter than to pretend i know what i'm doing <laughs> all right you guys this is what it should look like it's dark and Gorgeous and so yummy. Fia's, Fia's eating Mr. Chick. Fia. Fia's hiding. She's hiding. They're trying to steal her chicken. This is her favorite game. Fia, come here. Fia. I can't reach her. Fia, come here. Fia. 
go, yeah. run, run for your life. Yeah. It's funny because it's much bigger than her. And she carries it around. Let me see her, guys. Pia. What are you doing under there? Hi, baby girl. Come here, I'll see you here. I'm waiting for a package to come in today. It's my hair extensions. I tried the brand that my sister's using right now for tapins, and her hair looks so stunning. And I'm so happy that she got extensions so I can see the things that she uses since we use two different brands. Um, this brand, I it's very promising, so I'm excited. But anyways, mine are getting a little dinky. I have my appointment in two weeks now. My color like doesn't match anymore. It's just time for some loving. So we're gonna swap these out, throw these out, put the new ones in, but I'm excited to get my three beautiful packs of hair in today. So I just pulled up to Michael's. I love their um, like Christmas, um, what's that word? Like tree picks, Christmas tree picks that you put inside the tree. We usually put two Christmas trees up, our main one in our family room, and then one in our living room like by the window and the one that in the living room is the one that we've had since we basically got married and now they make trees a lot fuller that one is not as full so i like to try to like put picks in to kind of create that illusion that it's like a thicker more realistic looking tree so i want to run in real quick i have literally 10 minutes and there's a lot of people here so if the line is long this might be a bust but i want to see if i can grab a couple picks I always stop by here every single year just to see if something new came out and they always have great prices. Everything's always discounted. Oh my gosh, it sounds like somebody crashed. Anyways, let's go. I'll tune in with you guys in a sec. I feel like I'm always in a rush. I'm always like trying to balance um, like work, free time, kids time, cooking, cleaning, all that. I was working all morning, then I had a couple minutes to kind of like freshen up and here I am. They always have such cute festive things, like cheesy things, but I think that for Christmas, it's time to be cheesy like my kids would love if I served their cookies and something like this. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Like little measuring spoons, little gingerbread guys. That's so cute. Everything's adorable here. This is just like that red and white section. And then there is more traditional green here. How cute. All their little pillows and wreaths. Adorable. Oh, I have these at home. I actually bought two of them last year. I like that it's like a muted green. Um, I really like them. It doesn't look like anything's on sale though. <laughs> oh no, see? I know I'm not crazy. It's always something like that. It's probably just a tack tactic that they use, but Ah, this is all too white and sparkly for me, but this is one of my favorite sections. I feel like they always have the cutest little ornaments for like a girl's Christmas tree. Little pony. Look how stunning. It's a little um, globe. The cutest little nutcrackers. So precious. <laughs> it's just like the little things. Like, come on. Mermaids. Lollipops. I mean popsicles a gum machine like wow oh my gosh stop it stop. so this is their pick section it's a lot of inventory let me tell you i think i have i have these at home rose gold they look like um i don't even know what this looks like you just pick like stuff it in and it hangs out and just adds so much when the christmas lights hit it it just eliminates illuminates i have these these are the popular ones i bought i think like 60 of these they're just really pretty i really, really like these this is my third year of using them they hold up i just keep repurchasing new ones to make the tree even fuller but it's just such a great little hack these are new i haven't seen these before i have basically have the majority of this section they have also bigger picks in here it's great you guys so i got my extensions delivered let's see what they look like i'm so excited my appointment's in two weeks as i mentioned and i um 
I'm getting my hair like lightened. What is that? Brought my hair. Um, I got. I'm gonna get it lightened in the front like I usually do. Um, and then that should help blend them. These are blonder than what I have right now. At least the bottom. This is adorable. This is the package that it comes in, and it says full shine, 100%. Human hair, and as I mentioned, can I have that one second? I ordered three packs, so I think it said it's 50 grams in each pack. Um, yeah, I think so. So, let's see what they look like as I pick them out. I haven't seen them yet. Again, I know Alina has them, but I didn't actually touch her hair when she took it out initially. So let's see. This is what they look like straight out of the package. They already look really pretty. What I like is that they're um, like that fade, the top darker part looks very ashy and that's kind of how my hair naturally is. Whereas the ones that I have in now are definitely, they don't blend as well. I don't know if you can tell. Half of them blend nice and then the other half have like an orange top. So it's time to swap them out. Let's see. I'm gonna attempt to open them without ruining them. So they're in like a little fishnet. And once I get there and she puts them in, my hair colorist will still tone them to my color. You guys, these are so pretty, I have to say. For some reason, they're picking up a little bit more like pinky undertone. But in real life, they are absolutely 0% pink. They're more like golden, ashy blonde. So once my colorist um, matches them to my hair, they're gonna be perfect. But I'm excited to have fresh, silky hair. These are 18 inches, so they're gonna be a little bit longer than what I have now. Not too much. I think these were 18 when I got them, but I slowly trim them up just to blend my hair every time my tapes get moved up, but I feel like when I trim the extensions, every couple months they just look a little bit fresher. But as you can tell, these definitely need to be swapped out, so I'm excited. I will probably record a video review on these and also um, what my hair will look like after I get out of the salon in two weeks, so stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, I will be signing off now. I'm waiting for my sister to drop off her kids. I'm gonna babysit them. She has some errands to run. Some Chick fil A and Diet Coke today. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next one.